Jeffrey's not sure if this self-improvement thing is actually gonna work for him. He wants to be on NoFap, but he can only manage a few days at a time before he relapses again, so clearly this isn't gonna work. Meditation? Nah, nah, I don't think it'll work. Journaling? No. Exercise? Yeah, like, I, I went to the gym uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> Scrolling on Instagram? Yes, please. Watching bullshit videos on YouTube? Sure. Baiting three times when he's reset his streak because, you know, it's already at zero, so you may as well go again. Yeah, but why not? He's doing all of the bad habits. He doesn't feel motivated to do anything, and perhaps that's just because he's fried his dopamine receptors. Bad Jeffrey. Adonis. Adonis started his self-improvement journey young. Years of good habits developed Adonis to be the kind of man that we would aspire to be. Because just look at him. He looks amazing. He feels amazing. His life is amazing. And it has all come from self-improvement. In this video, I'm not going to tell you about my story. I'm going to tell you about the story of Sam, who was my first video editor for this channel. We have five video editors now. I hired him in December 2020. And Sam was a Jeffrey. When I hired Sam, I promise you that this is the truth. And I don't even say this to be insulting to him. He was a total Jeffrey. He was a full-time live streamer on Twitch, which meant that he was playing video games for around 12 hours a day, four, five, six times a week. Imagine that, bro. He was live streaming on Twitch, playing video games for, honestly, like I, I checked sometimes, he had like eight viewers. <laughs> for eight viewers, for literally about 12 hours a day. All right, so my dad just told me I'm adopted, guys. He was skinny, didn't even exercise at all, didn't eat right or anything. Sam was clinically depressed. He was on antidepressants. He was just not enjoying any part of life. But by editing my self-improvement videos and getting closer and closer to me, he naturally just became more like me. Because you know the phrase, you're the average of the five people you spend time with. Well, it really worked for Sam. By spending time with me, Sam's life got better because he got onto self-improvement, started weightlifting and everything. By me spending time with Sam, my life got so much fucking worse, Sam. Come on, man. The first part of self-improvement that we got Sam onto was exercising. And I remember that he didn't even have the confidence to go to the gym. Like he just did, it was impossible for him to go to the gym. He had like intense social anxiety. So he couldn't even like step outside of his house so he was literally doing like these shitty home workouts push-ups with his knees on the floor negative pull-ups like when you can't even do a pull-up so you have to step on a chair first and already cheat your way there and then you just kind of like fall down and that gives you like a little bit of the gains i had sam doing this kind of workout for a couple of months and we got closer and closer hopping onto like video calls and eventually we became quite good friends and he became kind of like my right hand man in this entire youtube channel this movement he's the guy that i go to to help me make decisions and he really proved himself to me so we spent more and more time together eventually sam got more and more confident because he was on self-improvement he was working out a little bit and he signed up to a gym nearby which was a huge step for him because he literally wasn't leaving his house before this all right boys first gym session is down i'm uh fucking a stack i don't want to give me a better workout the uh machines or my anxiety but either way feels fucking great man i wanted to go to the gym since i was 13 and uh wasn't quite old enough to go then and by the time i was old enough i was crippled with stuff <laughs> but i did it I did it. Like, literally, seriously. Like, he was already past the age of school and everything. He was staying inside of his house every day. And so him signing up to the gym and going to the gym was, like, a big thing. I literally remember needing to, like, prep him for this to teach him, like, okay, this is what you do in the gym. You go there to get onto this machine. You do this. You make sure you wipe your sweat down. Teaching him, like, the social mannerisms of, like, how to be outside. <laughs> he had to learn this shit, bro. He got consistent in the gym. He made some friends there. Started practicing his social skills that he was learning from my videos. And I would tell him, yeah, just try and speak to someone in the gym, you know, just, like, just ask them how many sets they've got left. And slowly and surely, he he started getting more popular, he made some friends, he started going out to like clubs and parties and stuff and you know doing some like sort of degenerate habits but then he even gave all that up, became so much more productive, more work focused, eating cleaner, reading, reaching more levels of success and then he took a big step by my side. He took his first ever plane flight. At the age of 22, me and him flew out to Amsterdam and we flew out a bunch of our team members and we met up there to celebrate, I booked out a penthouse for our team and that was a big move for him to literally take a plane. We have a sick time there, he's developing more and more confidence, he's getting way more into like weightlifting, really wanting to build this physique and then we take even a bigger trip to thailand all the way across the world and i remember that that was such like a big pr for him that he literally broke down multiple times just on the flight and everything i literally saw him like just seeming so like empty and like like you know shelled up because we just took the biggest fucking flight of his life and even of mine 12 hours away but in thailand he started getting more confident training muay thai even attracting girls we met with the guys jack and bill that sam really bonded with we've come back home from thailand and since then about three months ago sam's been putting in the fucking grind the reason why I'm telling you this story is because I want you to imagine this before and after. Before is a, 
a man, a boy, 21 years old, live streaming video games for 12 hours a day on Twitch to eight viewers. Intense social anxiety, not going outside, just skinny as fuck, depressed, clinically depressed. And I forgot to mention actually that sometime near the start of this year, Sam's clinical depression was cured and he no longer needed antidepressants anymore because he was now on self-improvement and actually living like how you're supposed to live. To the after, where he's in shape, he's in fantastic shape. He's actually working hard. He doesn't play video games at all anymore. And he actually quite is like against them the same way that I am because he's realized how much of a hook they had over him. He's becoming successful. He's became a man. I put him through the rite of passage myself. I literally baptized him. Like I took him to a waterfall in Thailand. We did this incredibly hard like journey. And I literally fucking baptized Sam underneath water and told him that you're a man now. We're gonna baptize Sam. God, Jack, you baptize him. I'm gonna baptize him. Um, with the gorilla. Uh, bananas. I know it was only like, you know, it was just goofy shit. Like, you know, you and your friend next to the waterfall, you, like, you grab his skull and put it into the water. And I was just like, oh, you're a man now. But like, it was true. He legally turned into a man when he was 18 years old, but he actually turned into a man in the last one year being on self-improvement. There are so many guys who are just shut indoors, feeling hopeless, feeling like they can't really get out of the, the ruts that they're in. Nothing really seems to be enjoyable. It's this feeling of this bleak, dark, gray, depressive, nihilistic, just emptiness, purposelessness, no real enjoyment, only stimulation. And so many guys can relate to that. You see, the modern world has really, really fucked over men, young men particularly. And it's time that you get a reminder. Perhaps this may be one of the first times you've been told this. It's time that you get reminded that you are part of the warrior class. Do you know in like finance money shit, there's always like working class, business class, upper class. There's a class that isn't really spoke about and that is the warrior class. It is young men. You see, young men are the most powerful of any generation. Young men are what cause revolutions and wars. Young men are what cause buildings to be built. Perhaps it's sexist, but maybe it's just factual. When you drive on a big motorway, 100% of the people who made this motorway are men. When you see a big building, 100% of the builders are men. This is not downplaying women or saying that they're bad. I'm not talking about women. We're just hyping up men right now because it's time that you got hyped up and you realized and you actually heard for maybe the first time in so long of the potential that you have. Young men are the strongest people of humanity. The amount of potential that you have to change your life. And it's so sad to see that potential being wasted. It's so sad to see that potential being manipulated and stolen from you by these evil companies that want to just sap your attention into them. Porn. Fucking porn. Imagine how evil that fucking company of porn up is Facebook, Meta, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. They know what they're doing. They know that they have fucked your life. They know that they have fucked your brother's life. They have fucked your male friend's life. Only fans. Chances are, if you're watching me intently right now, you want to improve. You want to experience a better life. You don't just want to give up, but you just don't really know what to do or how to do it to actually make real progress because you've been told this shit before. You've been told to maybe take a break from video games, to maybe stop watching porn, to maybe go to the gym and eat cleaner foods. You've been told that, but for some reason, you just can't really seem to do it. You might have a feeling that you're supposed to stay stuck like this. Wrong. Go and look at the comments of any one of my videos. I urge you to do this now. You can pause this video, go and look at the comments underneath this video, go onto my channel on like 10 different videos, go and look at the comments. You will see something very different from any other YouTube channel. The majority of comments are people literally saying, Hamza, you've saved my life. I was gonna kill myself, your videos have saved my life. I'm 13 years old and I've had a porn addiction for three years and I've cured it now because I've been watching your videos, Hamza. Our generation of young men have felt so hopeless, so nihilistic, so depressed, so stuck like this for so long till now because we know what cures all of these problems. We know what fixes depression. We know what gets a young man out of a rut and actually being productive. We know what causes a young man to get this burning desire inside of him where he thinks, fuck, I wanna take some responsibility for my life, make some money, help my family and actually experience like a good life. It's self-improvement. Improving yourself in as many ways as possible, especially your mental health. It took Sam less than six months to cure his depression that he thought he was gonna have for life. Why was he depressed? They don't want me to tell you about this, bro. I, I might get canceled for this shit because I'm telling you like, oh, maybe depression's not like, I'm not 
being Andrew Tate and saying depression is not real, I think it is real. But I think people think that it's something that they're just supposed to be stuck with and they don't realize like this is so condescending, but you'll only kind of believe this when you've experienced it yourself. The reason why you're depressed is just because you don't live like a normal, healthy human being. How could you not be depressed when you wake up and just stare at your phone? How could you not be depressed when you masturbate five times a day, three times a day, every single day for years? You're convincing your brain and your body and your soul that you're getting laid, that you're experiencing love and intimacy. And every single day you keep waking up alone. How could you not be depressed? How could you not be depressed when you go onto Instagram and you see people who are better than you? How could you not be depressed when you see a bleak future ahead with a career that isn't part of your purpose? How could you not be depressed when you're like 20 years old and at this point, every man in your bloodline has had children apart from you? How could you not be depressed when 70%, 80%, 90% of men have literally no love, no intimacy, no affection in their lives? How could you not be depressed when the last time you climbed a tree was 10 years ago. How could you not be depressed when you don't jump over a puddle? When you don't jump in the puddle like you used to as a child? When the things that we do for fun these days are literally just staring into our fucking phones. Whereas we used to go out as children and play football and, and run on our bikes and push each other into mud and we don't do that shit all because you know it, it's inappropriate for an adult to be acting that way. I don't mean to be condescending bro but honestly you want to cure your depression in 20 minutes go outside and climb a tree and go as high as you possibly can and I guarantee you will have the biggest smile on your face and you know why you don't hear advice like this? Because no one gets to profit from it. No no YouTube company, no influencer gets to profit from you meditating and improving your mental health and going outside and actually acting like you're supposed to, being amongst nature. Is it any surprise why the majority of us feel so bad because of the way that we live? You know, so many young men out there are feeling so hopeless. You're part of the lucky ones, you know why? Because you're watching this video and in the next 30 seconds, I'm gonna instill more hope into you than you've ever had before. Remember that we've done all these bad habits for years and years and years and years. Self-improvement would counteract that within two months, max. Within two weeks, you will see a significant improvement to your life. Self-improvement is all about delaying gratification, doing the hard thing now so that our life is better in the future, exercising now so that we're more fit in the future, eating clean now, even though that meal doesn't taste as nice because it's healthy, because it's not as pleasurable, but your life gets better in the future. You keep doing all of these good habits that make your future life better and eventually it is the future. Eventually you become your future self and all you can do is stand there with a 10 out of 10 physique with your girlfriend that you love by your side and you just have this fucking sense of self-love thinking, my younger self sacrificed for me. I sit before you today as a guy who's built his dream physique, my dream life, digital nomad, successful, all these like good things I could say about myself. I've achieved my dream life. Of course, there's more to go. The reason why I've achieved it is not because I've done anything. I didn't do anything. My younger self sacrificed for me. How could I not be so excited. How could I not have so much self-love if my younger self sacrificed and delayed gratification for me? But on the other hand, how could you not feel like total shit? How could you not be depressed? Because your younger self took from you. He sacrificed you for his pleasure. Your younger self ate that junk food knowing that you would have extra body fat. Your younger self masturbated knowing that you would feel more shame. Your younger self played thousands of hours of video games knowing that you would have less success in your life. Lower grades. How could you not be depressed? How could you not be nihilistic? How could you not have this sense of self-hatred when your younger self took from you? Will your future self, the man that you'll become a year from now, two years from now, be thinking the same thing about you? Think about this. Think about your 2023, 2024, you know, the year 2024, two years from now. Think about that version of yourself. Is he thinking about you and thinking that you're an asshole? Is he thinking about you and thinking, fuck you, stop it, please? Because you know exactly what it is that you need to do. And if you don't do the right things, your future self is going to hate you. Your future self is going to think about you today, just like you do with your younger self and you wish your younger self just studied a little bit harder and stopped eating that junk food and stopped taking those drugs. If your future self is going to think the same thing about you, bro, time to change, time to get fed up, time to get like annoyed, pissed off, aggressive, angry at living this way. You should have fear that your future self is going to feel this way about you. You should do everything you can, whatever pops into your mind, any ideas that you get to set up your future self to have a better life. What could you do? What sacrifices could you make today that your future self is going to look back at you and think, thank you. I can't believe you did that for me. I went through a lot, bro. I struggled a lot. I had really bad mental health for most of my life, especially 17, 18, 19 years old. I went through some traumatic shit. I had experienced child abuse from my parents. I got attacked by a racist who tried to stab me. I went through some like bad shit, bro. I was addicted to weed. People say you can't be addicted to weed, bro. I 
I was. I was eating junk food, binge eating everything. I hated my life and I remember this moment, like the one thing I was doing productive was just going to the gym, but even I stopped that. I remember this moment just looking at myself in the mirror and just thinking like, what the fuck? The one thing I had going for me was my physique and I've started to ruin it because I'm just eating junk food. And I started to get this feeling of like hatred towards myself over, you know, the actions that I had taken over the last three, six, nine months. And something just clicked. And I just got interested in this concept of thinking, wait, I hate my younger self right now because he sacrificed me. But what if I sacrifice myself for my future self. My younger self sacrificed me because he wanted to eat that junk food. What if I eat healthy and sacrifice pleasure today for my future self so that he can have a six pack? And that's exactly what I did. That's exactly what Sam did. That's exactly what you will go on to do. You have inside of you warrior blood. For you to be alive today, bro, you, your ancestors were badass. That means that you have the genetic capability to be badass, to achieve success, to work hard, to dominate. Your future self is just waiting for you today to tap in to that and it's not going to be easy. You're not just suddenly going to get consistent in going to the gym or meditating, eating clean. You know, you're just not just suddenly going to start doing it every single day. You could try to go into the gym right now. Maybe you'll go for two days and then you'll take like three days off. You could try getting on NoFap right now. Maybe you'll do it for two days and you'll take like a week off. That's normal. But if you stay on this path and you keep sacrificing for your future self, you're going to get closer and closer to that ideal place, which is just extreme consistency of all the good habits. You want your future self to be proud of you. So just ask yourself this, when you go about your day, just ask yourself, what can I do that would make my future self grateful for me? And also, if you've got the gut, the balls to do this, also go about your day saying, if I do this thing that I feel like doing, that I have this craving for, like video games, porn, drugs, junk food. How will my future self feel about me? If he's gonna feel shame, guilt, let down, I'm not gonna do that to him. It's time for you to join the biggest movement of young men that there is in our day. That is the cult, the brotherhood, and the tribe that I have created. This is not a normal YouTube channel, and you can verify that by looking at the comments underneath these videos. This is a movement of young men who have gotten onto self-improvement and, and rid themselves of all these toxic, disgusting bad habits. And we would love to have you by our side. You don't realize just how much your life can change. Sam didn't. I didn't. There is an amazing life just waiting for you when you get onto self-improvement, you join our movement, and you take this shit seriously. There's a link to join my Discord server in the description of this video. It's got a hundred thousand young men who are on self-improvement who want to make the same kind of progress that you do, so you might want to join that. Click and watch this video to learn more right now. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Goodbye, Sammy. Love you. <laughs>